Uh, good evening to my very good friend Serge, uh, good evening to the coach and welcome. Eve, my man, uh, and a special good evening to all the televiewers of STV. It's always a pleasure for us, uh, like you said, I always have a bird's eye view of each game <laughs> and of course a particular camera cachet mm -hmm. to bring out uh, you know, different angles of the game. And I want to say that uh, it's only on La Presse Rafael match where we can get uh, such detailed information about uh, matches being played. Uh, back here at home. So it's always a pleasure for me once more to come on board. Okay. I want us to begin uh, by going straight to the screens where we, 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 we are having the, the starting lineups, uh, probably the starting lineups of uh, both clubs. And uh, I think uh, this is where the difference was because uh, in that game we saw Joseph Yankee who played right up. I mean, his, his position was, I mean, he was moving, always pushing Mbia backwards. Mm. And it was the same thing with uh, Usmanu Musa. He had uh, the, the, the left back in court for, for, for New Stars, uh, for, for Astro, mm -hmm. on, on the back seat. And so it did not give the, the right back and the left back of Astro the possibility for them to climb forward and make the crosses. And so already at this point, I think that was the first thing that, uh, that, that oh, the Cotton Sport coach had to make sure mm -hmm. that the left and the right back for Astro, they do not have that opportunity to go front and make the crosses by using these two guys who are very pacey, Yankee uh, on the left side and of course Usman on the right side. They mm -hmm. were always pushing the defenders to defend backward. And so it gave Koton Sport, once more we go back to the screen, it gave Koton Sport the opportunity where we saw them playing high line, a high line, especially in the first half. Their left back was up, their right back was up, and uh, Komara as well as uh, Fernando, they equally had a lot of space. And at one point in time in the first half of the game, the goalkeeper for Cotton Sport, Bokwe George, mm -hmm. was like, uh, you know, Relax. relaxing. Exactly. And even the goal that Fosso scored, I think, as a result of the fact that, he, I mean, he himself and the defenders were not very actively involved mm -hmm. in the game, they easily considered that goal scored by Fosso. And now, from then, it was like Astre <laughs> over-respected their opponents, Cotton mm -hmm. Sport. After scoring, they went back to defend, which was uh, just like the coach said, it was uh, psychologically not a good uh, gesture there for them. The best way to defend is for you to attack. And so after scoring that goal, they had to keep attacking and probably score and break down Cotton Sport. But they did not do that. And unfortunately, uh, we, we, we saw Cotton Sport, you know, uh, pushing up. I mean, first half, it was all Cotton Sport's game. There was a dichotomy in that encounter. First half, Cotton Sport. Second half, Astro. Okay. And just like the coach said, probably he talked to his players, gave them the, the courage, the need to see, I mean, the possibility that they can beat Cotton Sport. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the second half of the game, they dominated the game, even though, unfortunately, they considered uh, uh, through that, that, that free kick. And now, if, if we have to uh, move next to talk about uh, the full-time statistics, which I think uh, actually brings out very clearly uh, what we've been talking about. If we go back to the screens, we have here the full-time statistics uh, of that encounter. Cotton Sport had 15 attempts as opposed to uh, six uh, from uh, uh, Astro of Douala. And out of those 16 attempts, six of them went on target, three for Astro of Douala, four corners for Astro, three for Cotton Sport, two yellow cards on both sides, and of course, a 48 ball per uh, percentage for Astro and a 52 for Cotton Sport of Galois. So to me, it was a fairly balanced game, but mm -hmm. I think the difference came in at the point where the free kick was taken, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately, they considered the goal there. But then there was equally this turning point in Cotton Sport. Joseph Yankee, yeah. he did not play Cotton's last three matches mm -hmm. and they had draw games. Now he came in that game and we saw how effective, how useful he was. And, uh, was and he was able to entertain the public of with course, his uh, beautiful dribbling tactics. What, what we have on our screens here, uh, gentlemen, is, is actually showing us uh, the total number of balls played by Joseph Yankee, especially in the first half of the game. And uh, just to tell you that, if you look at it, most of his, his balls were concentrated uh, in this area, in this section of the field. And uh, of course, uh, he was a constant threat to the defender uh, of, uh, of uh, Astro of Douala, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mbia, yeah. whom, I mean, he's a guy he knew from Jelakwan Sports Academy. Both players are from Jelakwan Sports Academy. So uh, Yankee probably knows that Mbia is not the right back. Mm -hmm. So I think he took advantage <laughs> of uh, his space. Mm -hmm. He took advantage of the fact that Mbia is a center back and not a right back. And uh, he was just everywhere uh, uh, on that guy. And uh, I think uh, Yankee had the day, uh, to me, he really had the day. And if 